Hello beautiful glam girls, welcome back to another video. Glam fam, welcome back. So this is going to be a beauty haul and this is um, pretty much everything I purchased myself except one thing. So um, I figured this would be the great, uh, I figured this would be a great time to do a haul because I just purchased some makeup and I haven't purchased or gotten any makeup like myself in a while and I just was in the mood and I needed to buy some stuff to stock up on things that have run out on me so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to share it with you guys the first thing I got this is the only thing that was sent to me by John Frieda so it's the brilliant brunette visibly brighter um subtle lightening oh my god subtle lightening shampoo and conditioner and then it also came with the sheer blonde gold lighter shampoo so this is what this looks like it's brilliant brunette i thought this would be perfect because my hair right now is like in this weird stage where the bottom is like really um a lot lighter than the top because i had blonde hair for so long that the dark dye that i put to match my natural hair is starting to fade so I thought that the Brilliant Brunettes together would really make a nice, um, I don't know, a nice brown shade to my hair and like make the lighter brown kind of more rich and luscious and vibrant. And so, um, yeah, I will be using this and I will do a review on it for you guys. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Brilliant Brunette. And then it also came with the Sheer Blonde Gold Lighter. It says you can go up to two shades lighter so I don't know if I'm gonna use this because I don't want my hair to go blonder but um, that's that so I will be doing a review for you guys but that's the only thing that I didn't purchase myself that was sent to me everything else is either things that I got myself or purchased myself so I'm just gonna go through the first stuff from Mac these are all things I got from back to Mac so basically back to Mac is when you have any empty Mac products i um, trying to find so like if you have an empty fix plus or when your lipsticks run out um, even the like brow pencils that are um, retractable so the brow pencils that come like this and like a uh, plastic retractable pencil um, anything plastic or glass anything plastic or glass can be brought back in whether it's empty or full it doesn't matter it can be full as long as you don't want it anymore and you know you just bring it back so when you bring back six empty items to a max store you can get a lip gloss a lipstick or a single pot eyeshadow and if you go back to a mac counter i believe you can only get a lipstick but i haven't worked at mac in a long time so definitely find out from your mac what their policy is so i went to a mac store and so i picked up two lipsticks and two lip glasses so um the two lipsticks i got are dangerous and peach sock so dangerous i wore in my last video the bra video i was wearing this lipstick it's a really really beautiful like hot red orange color and i've been really dying for a lipstick like this and since i didn't have to pay for it because i was bringing back a bunch of stuff i thought perfect opportunity so it's like matte but mac matte lipsticks are very creamy so i really like it i feel like in person it might be a little more fiery just a little bit more but it's a really nice color and mac lipsticks are just a classic and then i got peach stock which is also another classic i can't live without a good peach stock so peach stock is like nude but it's definitely on the dark peach i guess like i wouldn't say it's like peachy but it's definitely like yeah it is peachy it's like a dark dusty peach nude it's just a staple for me especially when i'm tan it's just you need peach stock it's a staple lipstick you can always like throw it on no matter what you're wearing and it always looks good and then i picked up two lip glasses the first one is the one that i'm wearing now which is myth this is like my all-time new favorite uh nude gloss it is just like the most perfect like yellow orangey tone nude it is so beautiful i find it to be just so beautiful with like anything i'm wearing and just by itself and it's so pigmented like you don't even need lipstick with it when i um i had a photo shoot this past week and i was wearing this lipstick when i showed up and the makeup artist was like i don't think we even need to put lipstick on you just put that back on because it's so beautiful i really really like it it's gorgeous 
And then the last one is also a lip gloss, and this is the color See Through. And I love Mac, Myth, um, I love Mac lip glasses. They're just so thin and creamy and glossy and silky. If you like the Kylie Jenner lip glass lip glosses, you would like these. They're very similar in texture. I think Kylie's is just a little bit thicker, but I like that. Um, so this is see-through. This is another old lip glass that's been around for a long time. It's just a very, very classic white-ish nude. So this is better for, you know, uh, either lighter skin tones or when you want something really, really, really nude. And like if you put it over Myth, you will automatically see the difference in the shade. So you see this is a lot more pale so it's definitely when you want that white nude shade maybe to top off another color or to lighten another color because sometimes you have like I know for me I have products that I like but the, the color is just a little too dark for me or it clashes too much with my makeup my like my eye makeup so if I put like a lighter gloss on top it'll kind of balance it out for me kind of like using a white shade and um when you're painting like using white to lighten another shade and kind of give it a different color a different shade so um that's kind of what i will use that for and it's just really really classic you know clear nudie nude gloss so that's what i got from mac i didn't pay for those but i did buy them myself in the sense that i went and i went to mac and uh exchanged all of my old stuff and you can do six uh six product equals one product and then you can do up to 24 which is what I did so if you have up to 24 then that equals four products for free and then I saw that Sephora the other day and I really didn't pick up anything exciting I just needed to restock my Kat Von D translucent powder it's like the best translucent powder I've ever used I won't use anything else until they discontinue this this is what it looks like so I know she has another one but I think it's like a pressed this is the one that you want this is the translucent loose setting powder I think it's like I don't know $30 $35 and then with tax in New York it comes out to $32.66 which can be pretty steep I guess for a powder but I love this powder so much that the price point doesn't even matter to me because it just I think if it was like I don't know $45 then I would be like okay no but it's just so amazing and you get so much I mean it's a huge jar of powder it's bomb and what I love about it too is that it comes with the sifter so when you first get it it has like the little plastic clear tape over it and then it comes with a little grate or a little sifter or whatever so that you don't waste so much powder when you want to use it. But the other thing I love about it is that you can remove the sifter and just use it as just like a big bucket of powder. I wish this came in an even bigger package, like double the size of this. I would pay like, you know, $55 for just like a huge pop pot of it because i love it so much it's amazing to just set all over it's amazing for baking i will say if you have dry under eyes you might get patchiness with it and if you if you put too much on in one spot and leave it for too long you could get patchiness with it but i think that's true for any powder but i feel like i can be really liberal with with this and use it without too much care and i don't have a problem with it with with it whereas with other powder powders i'm sorry i can't talk with other powders i just feel like it's so hard to use them like they leave flashback or they stick to dry spots or they get too patchy or they have shimmer or they're too white but this one is just like easy can use it I can use it when my skin is a little dry. I can use it to bake. I can use it to set all over without flashback, without ruining my foundation. Like, it's just so easy to use and it's like buttery, silky. I just can't say enough good things about it. I'm waiting for Kat Von D to put me on her PR list <laughs> because I love this powder so much. I use it to death. And then the last thing is where I have all the goodies from Ulta. So I can't wait to get into it. They, uh, they definitely, they got me. They, they got me, okay? Um, I got the Ulta credit card, okay? They sucked me in because I was like, you know what? I'm buying quite a few things today and I can save the, you know, 20% today if I get the credit card. And I'm in here all the time and I get double the points. And the thing with um, 
the thing with Ulta that makes it so much better than like other places that have reward systems is that at Ulta, the points equal real money. They don't just equal like a little trial size of something. A hundred points is, you know, a dollar or whatever it is. So, um, you actually are actually getting money back for your next purchase. So I had a 350 off coupon and then I also got points from getting the credit card which equaled another $6. So that took off $10 and then I saved the 20% from opening the credit card. So overall I saved like $50 and I think that's a really really big deal you know it encourages your customers to come back to buy more and to be loyal to your customer you know, to your brand so um, I definitely think that you know they give other stores a run for their money and I think other stores should definitely take take note of that because treating your customers well and giving them an incentive to purchase is what's going to make them purchase so you're gonna think twice before you buy something at Sephora that you could buy at Ulta because you know that those points are gonna equal money on your next purchase so anyway, before I keep going and going and going, let me show you what I got. So I got the Garnier Skin, the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. It's the all-in-one that removes makeup, even waterproof mascara. It's no rinse, no harsh rubbing for face, lips, and eyes. And this is for all skin types, sensitive skin. They had like a whole like long post with like all these shelves with all brands and sizes of micellar water. But I um I already used the Garnier Skin Skin Active line and that is what cleared up my acne. They have um charcoal wipes, charcoal cleansers, charcoal uh foaming cleanser, and that like four step program of their products literally is what cleared up my skin literally so anything from them from garnier skin active i'm gonna try because i already know that it works for me it doesn't irritate my skin i don't have an allergic reaction to it doesn't doesn't give me hives like other products so i went for this one and i'm so excited to try it because you can see it has like it looks like oil but it says it's oil free it says it has no oil no alcohol no fragrance and it's supposed to take off waterproof makeup so i'm gonna try it after this because I don't know if it works. Maybe I should do a video about that, like, trying my cellar water. Does it work? What do you guys think? Next, I picked up this Mari Badescu uh, Skin Care Grab and Go Little Duo because I do break out, and I know that a lot of people say this drying lotion is, like, amazing. I believe it's won awards for, like, how amazing it is. And I also already love the Mario um, Badescu Rose Water Spray. Like, it's tried and true for me. I love it to death. So I was like, well, let me just grab this because it was only $22 for both things. And it's like a nice little size. It's two, It's like a baby size compared to... There's two sizes of this. Normally, it's the two fluid ounce or four fluid ounce and then eight fluid ounce. This is a two fluid ounce. So it is smaller, but you're still getting the product. And then you're also getting a regular kind of full-size version of the drying lotion. And the drying lotion by itself is $17 for this size, one fluid ounce. So if you're getting one fluid ounce of this and two fluid ounces of this for $22, so I figured why not i'm already gonna pay 17 for this by itself and i know that i already like this you get, you get it that's how they get us girls that's how they get okay so the next thing i picked up is the giant <laughs> benefit professional is this a giant size yes it is yes <laughs> this shit is huge i was like let me just pick up the huge bottle because this is the primer that i've been using for a while and I, it's like my favorite primer because it does the job of a really thick primer but it doesn't feel thick on the skin and what I love the most is that it like literally helps me not sweat during the summer but it doesn't feel heavy it goes with every foundation I've tried either dewy matte satin it doesn't matter it works with stick foundation liquid foundation whereas other primers I can feel the difference when I use different foundations this one works with like every foundation i own it works applying with your fingers it works if you apply it with a brush with a sponge it doesn't matter and um when i put it around my hairline around my nose and mouth i feel like it really helps um prevent like the sweat from piling up on my face and it makes my makeup last all day and it doesn't interfere when i have acne medication on my face which is so important because even when i'm breaking out i still have to put makeup on i still have to work and things so um it really doesn't kind of uh, doesn't um 
sometimes primers when you rub them on top of skin that has like other products on it they kind of give you those little balls this one if your products are set in your skin already this doesn't do that it just glides right on top of them so i was like let me just get the big one because i use this every single day for the lightest makeup look and the darkest it doesn't matter the heaviest not the darkest but like the lightest amount of makeup and the heaviest amount of makeup and i love it for both and I picked up the Tarte Shape Tape because it was in stock. They had like every color and I was like, girl, I need that. Everyone says it's like the most amazing concealer of all time. And the one that I've been loving lately is the Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer. And that one I absolutely adore, but it's starting to run out. And I was getting bored of it because it is kind of thick and it doesn't have an application or applicator. It comes in a squeeze tube, so I have to use another concealer with an applicator. And I squeeze them out and then I use the applicator from another concealer to apply it. Whereas this, it already has its own applicator. It's a nice big doe foot applicator which I think is so cool because it gives you just a really clean, easy application. And it's huge. And everyone just says amazing things about it. And I kind of feel like you get a lot of product and it's good for six months. And so, I don't know. Kind of steep, 25 bucks. But everyone says it's amazing. I got the color Light Medium Honey because medium felt like a little too dark. Not dark, but it just felt like it wasn't brightening enough. And then the other lighter ones were like too light. But this one gives you that brightening, but still is has that honey undertone. So it complements my tan skin tone and doesn't look too white under the eyes. Plus, I like getting colors that I can use in the summer and the fall and the winter. Like, I don't like to have to use five different concealer or di five different foundation colors. I like everything to kind of mesh and kind of work well together. And then I picked up a Laura Geller um, Gilded Honey. This is probably like my top in my top three favorite highlighters ever and uh for the price i think it's really really good it lasts a really long time the the, the other one that i just had i lost on the bus <laughs> it fell but it was almost finished and it was cracked so i was kind of like i needed a new one anyway because i couldn't take it anywhere the top was messed up it was all broken the product was like half gone already so i was planning on getting a new one whatever and then um when I wasn't using it for a while, I was using other products and I was kind of like, oh, I don't need that Gilded Honey. Like, I have so many highlighters, which is true, I do. But after using so many for a while, for like months and not using this one, I started to feel like I miss Gilded Honey. It's so good, especially because it's the only highlighter that is super, super, the most similar to Max Whisper of Guilt, which was like, I think, the best highlighter ever. So golden so metallic so 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 intense like just the smallest little swipe is so metallic and intense <sighs> it's so pretty um all i have on right now is cream highlighter but i like to do the cream and then i put this on top and it makes it last all day and it's just uh, such a beautiful highlighter and i love it because i can put it in my makeup bag and it takes up no space at all so it's one of my favorites goody oldie but goody okay and then i picked up the anastasia beverly hills lip gloss in the shade butterscotch because i've been eyeing this color for a while and honestly i used to be like all about color i used to wear a lot of red lipstick a lot of pink lipstick i would try with oranges and like different stuff like that i would do light pink dark pink hot pink bubblegum pink and now i'm just like nude 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 my makeup has definitely um, my makeup kind of taste has definitely con consolidated and I just feel like, I don't know, I like wearing less makeup. I also like looking like I'm wearing less makeup, so nude just kind of goes with that whole vibe. So, damn it, I'm running out of space. So the color is like a really, really, really beautiful, intense, like, I don't even know. It's just like a, I guess, a butterscotch nude. <laughs> But what I love about it is it's so pigmented. Like, like Anastasia Bar Beverly Hills lipsticks are lip glosses are very pigmented. You can see. But again, it's just the perfect, just a perfect nude for me. And but it has color because I cannot do the white nudes. When I was younger, I did. But now I realize, like, girl, you're tan. You need something darker. Like, okay, like get it together. <laughs> so. I definitely gravitate more now towards more natural nudes, more tan, yellow undertone 
um maybe slightly i guess has like a slight movie undertone to it it's not as like yellow as like the myth so the myth lip gloss is on the left the butter scotch is on the right so you can see how there's like that difference of tone but it's just such a pretty nude and like i said it's super pigmented the thing i got was the carly bible um i guess deluxe edition palette i have the original but the deluxe is so pretty i just cut it i just cut it walk away um i'm not super into eyeshadow palettes anymore but what i love is that this is not just an eyeshadow palette it has everything oh my god babe they said this palette has been used <gasps> this palette has been used guys look look at this shadow that has been dipped into hard a lot of these have been dipped into like you can see whoa it's been used like a lot of the colors have been used that is so wild you can see like a bunch of them have been used well i guess i'm gonna have to exchange it because that's gross um i was really excited for this palette too guys it's so pretty it's such a pretty palette like the colors are gorgeous. I don't want to touch them, but such pretty highlighters and just like the eyeshadows are beautiful. And I love that it's like one stop for everything. You can bring this and nothing else. And I like that for traveling and stuff because it just takes the guesswork out of stuff. I okay, hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Um, thank you so much for watching. I love you. I will leave the links for everything down below so you can check them out yourself. And I'll see you in my next video. Stay glam. Mwah. Bye.